CQRS, event sourcing, Axon framework, microservices. These are things that you need to be moving along with. And today we are going to be taking our first part on CQRS with Axon framework tutorial. We are going to be going with part one, introduction and setup. So CQRS stands for Command Query Responsibility Segregation. And this is a new way of building microservices. I actually have seen some tutorials online, some actually webinars, but these webinars are not meant for beginners. So in this case, I'm going to be doing this program for beginners from the scratch. We are going to build this application. As we are building it, we are also going to be explaining the concept of, of CQRS and event sourcing. So in this series, I'll teach you how to build a microservice that uses CQRS and event sourcing using the Axon Framework. Again, if you want to read about the Axon Framework, you can actually read it from this link right here. So in this part, we'll take an overview of the application we are going to be building and the tools we will use. Again, I'll recommend learning while working. So don't spend time learning without actually doing a project. So while we are building this project, we are also learning at the same time. So I'm going to be explaining as I move along. So the first thing we are going to do is so uh, I would like to say you take out some time to read about CQRS and, CQRS and events just in, in this link. All right, so the application we are going to be building will be a gift card application. This application actually was built in a webinar, but the, 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 the instructor was actually too fast. That is one. Secondly, it was, it's not meant for beginners. It's meant for intermediate and already uh, experts in micro uh, microservices. And besides, this webinar is now not updated. So if you try to build, follow the instruction in this webinar using the uh, current version of Axon, you might have challenges. So I'm doing this in the in the in this, uh, November 2019, and I'm going to repeat it in 2020 as well. So I I like to recommend you subscribe to my channel by hitting the subscribe button, so you don't miss out anything. All right, so a gift card has a particular amount associated with it. It can be issued to someone. The recipient can redeem the amount. Also, the amount could be redeemed in parts. As such, when a, an amount is redeemed, the balance is updated updated or reduced. So let's say you have a gift card that have $100. Then you go to a, to a shop and redeem $50. It means that what is going to be left in that gift card is $50. So as I mentioned before, this demo was actually uh, done in a webinar in 2018. However, as of Amazon version 2019, the procedure in that webinar has many issues. And besides, the pace, uh, the pace was such that beginners and intermediates of an Amazon framework could not catch up. So in this case, I've taken time to break down this Axon Framework tutorial into very little bits, one part at a time. I think there should be about 12 parts or thereabout. So it will be easy for beginners and everyone to follow uh, at this point. So what you are going to learn, you are going to learn about Axon Framework for implementing CQRS and event system based microservices. You are going to be learning about the Axon server for managing Axon application, Axon Hub, used to connect among microservices. Now I read about Axon Hub in the Axon website that is now a legacy product, but I'm still trying to find out why. Then Vardin, we are going to be using Vardin to build uh, the user interface. Then we are going to also use Kotlin, a programming language that simplifies, create, simplifies creation of classes. We are going to be combining Kotlin language with Java, and we are, you are going to learn it in this, in this series. Kubernetes, we are going to deploy the application to Kubernetes cluster running on Google Cloud. I also have to learn about microservices, Spring profiles. So we are going to be using IntelliJ IDEA. Actually, um, I'll recommend download IntelliJ IDEA and set up in your system. Community Community Edition is free. Also have Spring Boot just in case. Sometimes I like switching between IDEs just to prove some points. Then we are also going to be using Maven. Maven, when you install um, uh, IntelliJ IDEA, of course, it comes with Maven. And you can use it to manage your dependency. All right, so let's dive right in. So the first thing I'm going to do is to create a new project. Now, this project, I'm going to call it GC Easy because I've made GC demo, I've made GC webinar. Uh, we have GC webinar. Now I'm going to be making calling it GC Easy. So I'm going to just click 
Oh, what is this? So let's do the setting. Um, so I'm going to say uh, start a new project and just go next. So we are going to be using com.kindintelligence. Now you can also change this, but I'm going to use com.kindintelligence.gc uh, easy. So because this is the easy version of the same application you already know. I'm going to call it gc easy. Uh, gc easy, okay. Um, Java 8, this is fine. And this is going to be gc easy as well. Uh, so I'm going to say demo project for Axon framework. Sometimes I write it as one word, sometimes I write it as two words. So, so now let's go with just two words. So this is going to be called the kind of the genius of GC easy. Let's see. Com dot kind of the genius dot GC easy. Yeah, I think everything is fine, and I'm, I'm just going to click on next. Um, so the instruction says, let's see, because I I love following the step by step. So the instruction says, um, click on next, and then select dependencies. That is fine. So I'm going to select JPA, JPA Vardin and the H2 database. So we have JPA for um, spring data for data persistence and uh, Vardin for our user interface and we have the H2 database as well so if we need other, other dependencies we are going to be adding it as we move along so everything should be fine I'm going to just click on finish and allow it to do its thing so the next thing we want to do is to create three packages in this application. So it's still setting up. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to restore this so that I'll be able to see uh, the tutorial page and also this application at the same time. So let me just restore it to this place. Again, if you if you need a link to this page, is on the description box. You can find a link to this tutorial page. You have the step by step here, and you can easily follow it. Um, so. Let's wait for it to set up, and that is fine. Create three packages inside the com that kinds of the genius the GC easy package. The package names will be commands, query, and the key UI. So I'm going to just expand here and go to SRC, go to main, and go to Java, go to com. Okay, so I think, uh, okay. So while it's still setting up, let's allow some time. Okay, so, um, so I'm going to just right click. Yeah, so I think it's come up now. So I'm going to just right click on this place and just say new package. So I'm going to call the first package commands. Commands. Uh, commands that is fine and the other package is going to be query is going to be query and the last package is going to be GUI GUI all right so this is the first setup. So this represents three different microservices, three different applications. At the end of the day, we are going to orchestrate them using um, Spring profiles and, and then deploy to Kubernetes cluster. So now let's start our Axon server so that we'll be able to visualize what is happening along the line. So the first thing you want to do is go to this link and download the Axon server from here. Uh, I actually have downloaded it and installed, but let me just follow this procedure just so to, to complete uh, for complete nice of the series, so I've downloaded Axon Server One the zip. Uh, so follow the step on on zip it into a local directory and start the server. Okay, so let's go to download. Okay, whatever the case, I've downloaded it on zip it at this point. I've unzipped it into my drive D. Axon server, you can see where I kept it right here in my drive D. 
So the nice thing I'm going to do is to run the command uh, java minus ja action framework ja. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go to the location of uh, the location where I place the, the the extracted file. So I have it in my drive D. So let me go to navigate to my drive D slash action server uh cd axon sava 4 axon sava 4.2.2 uh and then this is where the file is so i'm going to say java minus ja axon sava dot ja so at this point the axon sava is going to start off at point uh, at port 8024 and at that point, we can go to the wire interface at port A024. We are able to be able to view the Axon server. You can see there is the Axon server interface. So if Axon server starts off correctly, that would be great. And let's just visit the the Axon server dashboard at this point from a browser. I'm going to say HTTP uh, localhost uh is for 8024 if i'm not mistaken 8024 but i think we need to yeah so let's go so it's not yet started you can see it's still trying to come up so as i mentioned if this video has been informative for you hit the subscribe button below to subscribe to my channel and then share it around feel free to let me know by leaving a comment if you have any challenges so at this point, we've started Axon Server and we've completed part one. If you've come this far, kudos to you. Uh, you are doing quite great. So in the next part, we are going to then be looking at, um, this will be part two. I can't remember what is in part two, but I think, yeah, we are going to be modifying the pom.xml and we are going to be adding additional dependencies to the pom.xml. I'd like to thank you for being there. I'd like to recommend that you don't give up and let me know if you have any challenges. So we see in part two.